Hello everyone, welcome back to WS Cube. In our previous few session, we have talked about what are dictionaries, what are the different methods that we can use with the dictionaries, what, uh, how we can do the iteration in dictionaries, and in our today's session, we will be talking about nested dictionaries. So guys, uh, the nested term, yes, we have heard it before. Nested, uh, we have heard it in nested conditional statement, nested loops. So today we are having nested dictionaries over here when there is a dictionary inside a dictionary that is called as a nested dictionary. Now let's see how these nested dictionaries are created. These nested dictionaries are very, anyways very helpful. These nested dictionaries are highly used for keeping a track of uh, records. So let's see how it can be created. So uh, I'm creating a nested dictionary over here. Uh, I'm, I'm going to keep its name as employee where I'll be adding the employee details to it and employee is equals to inside it I'm creating one dictionary so my first dictionary will be about the employee one so I'll be writing in employee inside the employee one I will be adding the details of my employee one so here I'm adding um, name Colin uh, John our permanent employee um, age Colin 23 right now I will be coming out of this inner dictionary, not the outer dictionary and I will be right, I'll putting a comma over here and write our employee to over here. So employee 2 and after the colon I will be again creating another mini dictionary. So again the name is let's say our Lisa is 25 years old. I will put a comma and add another value that is for our employee 3 colon. Inside it, I'll be adding the name and here after the colon, I'll be adding the name, uh, actual name and I'll put a comma and write age colon, I'll be adding the age, let's say 28. Okay. After this, I will be closing it. So here our dictionary started and here I'm closing it and then the mini dictionaries were closes within the part of those uh, employees, right? So if I want to print it, all I need to do is print employee. And as soon as I run it, I get the output over here in the form of our dictionary elements, nested dictionary elements. What if I want to access an element over here? What if I, I want to know what is there inside the database and what is the name of employee 2? Okay, so all I need to do is write print uh, the name of the dictionary and from it I want uh, employee 2's details. So I will be writing employee 2. And uh, what details I want that also I'll be mentioning over here that uh, the, the details that I want is let's say it's her name. So the employee's name I need basically and if I run it you will see I will get the output over here as Lisa. Similarly let's take another example over here if I write print and write the name of our dictionary over here and inside the square brackets I will be going to which part of uh, Employees I'm talking about, I'm talking about with employee 1, employee 2 or employee 3. That means the outer dictionary. So, I'll be, um, let's say I'm talking about the employee 1. So, I'll be writing employee 1 inside the string that I'm talking about employee 1. And what details I want of employee 1, I want his age. So, I'll be writing age over here. And as soon as I run it, I'll get the age of our employee 1 that is 23. So guys, this was our nested dictionaries. I hope what is nested dictionaries and how to access elements inside the nested dictionary are very clear to you. So stay connected and I'll see you in the next session where we will be solving problems related to the dictionaries. Thank you.